Hey, Tracy here with BibleJourneyMinistries.com and in this video, I'm sharing with you how I created the Psalm 5110 Renew Me Bible Journaling entry here. So it says, create in me a clean, and this is heart here. So, so cute. So I'm using the Psalm 5110 printable from Bible Journaling Ministries. If you are in Momentum, you can find this in your bonus files under, let's see, that would be under Old Testament Kits. If you're watching this later, but if you're watching this as it releases, it should be under your new kits, under bonus files, new kits. If you're not a Momentum member, you can find this in our store. I will make sure to link that below, but this is going to be really fun. You just need two simple things. You need clear sticker paper and um, paint pens. So I just have a Posca pen here in black, and then I have a another blue acrylic paint pen as well. I will make sure to link up for you so that you can find these in if you don't have them you can know where to find them if you want them but use whatever you have on hand you don't need to buy all the things just come and have a lot of fun with me today as we bible journal the psalms if you're ready let's go ahead and get started all right we're in psalm chapter 51 verse 10 with our renew me printable that just released this month if you're a moment momentum member you can find this in your bonus files under your new kits this month, or if you're watching this at a later time, it will be in your bonus files in your Old Testament kits. So I hope that you'll find it there and have lots of fun with me as we journal together. If you're not a Momentum member, that's okay. We do have these in our store as a, at a pretty reasonable price. So I hope that you will enjoy that. I do love this kit. I think this kit is so, so beautiful. It's got all different types of girls here different color hair different skin tones whatever you like um pretty much it is here for you we've got psalm 51 10 the verse says create in me a clean heart O god renew a right spirit within me we've got these girls in the washi with the hearts here and then we have our faith decks cards if you like that with more options for girls as well and then we have the larger ones here for your larger size Bibles and I actually have mine printed out. I have my Faith Dex card cut out ready to go. I've got my two inch Bible journaling printable ready to go on sticker paper. And then I also have it in a clearer sticker paper, which I think would be kind of fun, the larger elements. But before we get started with that, I am gonna go ahead and use my white apple barrel paint. So this is just white apple barrel paint. You can use gesso if you want to, and you don't even have to use the step with me, but I'm going to show you why, and I'll be using a sponge as well. And that's pretty much most of the supplies I need. I might come in with a black Posca pen or something and do some writing and some drawing maybe as we go along. Um, but that's what I have on my desk right now. But as I was looking at my Bible, this is my Holy Bible NLT Ref Personal Reflections Bible by Tyndall. It's pretty old. <laughs> it's a, I've had it for quite some time. But I was, I was reading my verse before I turned on the camera. Uh, the page that I want to use here actually has, you can see, I was doing some techniques with the bubbles. And um, I have some little bit of bleed through. And as I'm looking at the verse, so I'll read it once again, because whenever we're doing Bible journaling, we'd love to just focus on the verse. And you can read a little bit ahead and, and a little bit after if you want to. And I'll read just a little bit ahead. And I'll read at verse, mm, let's see, 7. Psalm 52, starting in verse 7, says, Purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Oh, give me back my joy again. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and underline our verse, which is create in me a clean heart, O oh God. And as I was thinking about that and thinking about the fact that I have bleed through on this side of the page, I thought it'd be fun to just kind of take a sponge and just kind of clean up this area. Whoops, I better shake that first. And let me just grab a paper towel because I don't know why, but that paint was not mixed well. And I thought I just used it, but maybe I didn't. <laughs> 
So I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put some down right on my Bible. And if you don't wanna put paint directly on your Bible, you don't have to. You can use a uh, palette paper or whatever. But basically what I was doing was I was thinking about how just the process, and you can do this with any group. If you are guys are going through uh, Psalm 52 and you're talking about, it says, you know, at verse seven, wash me and I will be whiter than snow. And so I'm just kind of getting a little sponge and just kind of washing the page because there's something in the background and I'm trying to fade out a little bit and making it white as snow. So I'll just add a little bit more paint to my sponge here. And just this kind of act of cleaning up my page a little bit, working with the bleed through that came in on this side is really getting me to think about the verse. You know, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. And we know the penalty for sin is death, but Jesus redeems us and we can be washed clean. And so just this action, you know, of just kind of cleaning up this page is just kind of just making me think about it a little bit more and just making me feel rejoice in what Jesus did for our sins. And so that could be something like if you're doing a Bible study with your girlfriends um, or your life group, you might come in and do an activity where you clean things up or you wash things to kind of help you to remember to, that the Lord can and will create a clean heart in you. And then it's a battle because we're human. Things aren't always going to be perfect, but the Lord is here and he will, he will help you. He will let you rejoice again if you trust in him. So this is just a little bit wet. I'm going to let it dry for just a moment as I kind of decide which of these little characters I want. She's so cute. I just love her. <laughs> but I will use her because she kind of looks like me a little bit. So It's almost dry. I live in Arizona, so things dry pretty quickly around here, which is nice. I do have a little bit of a wet spot up here, but I'm just gonna try to help it along <laughs> by just kind of making sure it's dry. So then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna take this clear sticker paper off. Now I have done videos on you know clear sticker paper and which ones I use and all that. So. If you are subscribed to our channel, just go ahead and look through our videos if you're interested in the clear sticker paper that I use. And I like her here. Now, when you are placing clear sticker paper, you can put a little bit over the words and you can still read them. So I'm just gonna place her down here and I'm just gonna push it down so that it just kind of blends into the background. Now you do have to kind of push it down a little bit. Now, if you are concerned, let's say that you just printed this out and it might be just a little bit wet. Mine's not because it, I mean, it, I, it, it's been printed out for a few days now. You can take something and put it on top of it, uh, like a, you know, transparency here and then push in. If you're worried about maybe that ink might come up or something, you can just use like a transparency or something. And that should help. And just by, you know, pressing it into the page, you just kind of help it to kind of melt into the background, which I like doing. And then I'll just come in with my scissors here, real simple and easy, and just trim this up a little bit. So easy to use our stickers. Maybe what I do, let me get my Posca pen out here. 
And I'm going to write the words create. Now, I'm just going over a little bit right now because, it, again, my paint's still a little wet. Um, you could take a, a heat tool over to this and dry it up before you do your lettering. I am not going to do that because I'm trying to do this live without having to come in with a hair dryer and speed up the video and all that stuff. So I'm trying to do things so that you see live what I do as best I can. Sometimes I can't help it. Sometimes I really do need to go speed up video and do all that editing. Create. And I'm going to do the word in. And maybe with my N, I do a little heart for my eye. Create in me. A clean. And I always say, you know, love your handwriting. You know, you just love your handwriting because what's really cool about it is one of these days someone's going to pick up your Bible and they're going to read what you wrote and they're going to go, they're going to take their hands and they're going to touch your letters and they're going to try to remember you. And it's just so nice. Like I do that with my, my grandmother's stuff. If I can find things that she's written, I always kind of hold them in my hand and I really think about her. Whoa. Okay, that was almost a lot of paint on here. Sometimes if my Posca pen is a little dry, I'll just kind of push it down to let some more of the ink out but I almost kind of splattered it everywhere. And if that would happen, I just try to go with it. So I said, create in me a clean, and then I'm just gonna put a little heart here. And maybe I'll do a little outline of the heart. I love that. So cool. And maybe I can come in with some of these other crosses that are really cool. Maybe I come in here with different colors. Maybe a little cross, a little yellow. Oh, oh man, I got some black ink on my hand and so it transferred to my sticker and it's going to be kind of hard to get that off so I'm not going to do that I'm not going to use that one but I will wipe off my hand <laughs> so I don't transfer it to another sticker sometimes that paint gets on our hands and on our nails and things like that and we just gotta either clean it off with our baby wipe which I use a lot of or live with the paint transferring onto things you don't want it to transfer onto. Come on. So, that's a pretty color. And you have a little bit of a cross over here. And maybe that one's kind of off the page. So because it's off the page, I'll come in here and then just cut it off. And maybe I'll have maybe another cross over here. And again, these crosses are on clear sticker paper, so I can actually put it over a word and you'll still be able to read the words. Which, um, again, reading a wor the words or not reading the words, that is your preference. That is, you get to decide 
what you want to do. You don't, there's no rules here. This is your Bible. Do what the Holy Spirit speaks to you to do. And don't worry about anybody else. Okay, so there's that. And you know, I might want to add a little bit of color up here. So I've got this thing going on here, this little flowery thing. Let's see if I can't get it off this sticker paper. Now I'm welcome to use anything out of all the kit, I mean the whole kit. So I mean, I don't have to just use this one page, but I do tend to use the, the printables. But I love the idea of just having this kind of hanging out here like that. Oh, it's so pretty. And then what I thought I would do is knock back the sticker with the baby powder, which might actually help it to be a little more white in the background. So let's see what that looks like. It might help it so you can, if I add a little bit of white to this background, it will actually pop out that color a little bit more. So let's see. Ooh. Uh, not much, it's still kind of clear, but it is real cute. Look at that, look how cute that is. Um, let's see, should I do this one too? These are actually headbands, to be honest with you. Um, they're designed to go on the on their heads. See, like this, but I don't want her on hers on her head. I just kind of want to use it as like a, like a little background piece. Yeah, maybe I'll just put this here. I just think it's so pretty. It's got all the colors of the page anyway, so. And then maybe I just finish off. I mean, you know, I could even, you know, that would be kind of neat to maybe add a second girl in here. Let's try it. If I can get the, the cross up a little bit. Gosh, her, they're all gorgeous. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. So for this one, I don't want, like, I don't want her whole face on here. I kinda want her like on this side of the page. So thinking what I'll do is just kinda cut her up a little bit maybe about like that i'm just folding it a little bit so i have a, a clean mark on where to cut so boop okay and now i can take her off see if this works good And then I can put her right in the corner, like she's peeking in. Oops. You gotta be a little bit careful with it because stickers are fragile sometimes. But I want her to be in the corner. And I've got this little, her body is actually stuck to the other page. So let me kind of work that in there. Come on. Boy. Come on. I don't want to wrinkle her. There we go. Sometimes you just have to work with it a little bit. to get her in there. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Oh, she's so cute. Now she's kind of floating out here in space. So I like to kind of ground 
my characters a little bit. So the way I can do that is I can I can actually put a little shelf on her or I can ground her with some of these other flowers, but I don't know if that's gonna work. So I don't think that's gonna work. So I'm gonna put a little shelf on her. Just so she's not kind of hanging out <laughs> in space. In fact, I can probably make it a little bit fatter. There we go. There. Now she's not just floating out in space. I mean, if you want her to float out in space, feel free. I'm not a fan of, of things not grounded. And then I think what I'll do is a little bit of more outlining on some of these hearts that are super cute. And maybe outlining the... And you can do designs as well. You can come in here and do some designs in your lettering if you want to. Like, um, I'll show you in just a minute. We did a whole, we've done like three creative lettering classes in Momentum. So for those of you guys who like to do creative lettering and you're in Momentum, just go to the past courses tab and just scroll all the way under technique courses, the column for technique courses, and just read the, you know, read which one you want to take and then just open it up and take it and have fun because you have access to all of those. You don't have to wait. You don't have to do anything. You get access right away. Um, I don't know. I think this is a little bit... Boy. Sometimes I get my hands in paint and things like that. So I try to work from top to bottom, but sometimes I come back. And, um, you know... <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just add a little bit. Try not to get the the blue in my on my hand at all. And I'm just going to add some blue dots just to give it a little bit of interest, a little bit of something, a little bit of fun here and there. Super easy, guys. Just little dots. That's all I'm doing. Nothing major. But it is fun. And I'm just, you know, as we're doing it, you just think about, you know, what you're doing. You know, ask the Lord. Help you from preventing, you know, help prevent you from making that mistake or the thing that, you know, you continue to struggle with. Ask the Lord to create a clean heart in yourself you know and we all struggle with sin so nobody's perfect the only person who's ever been perfect in this world is Jesus so we give him the glory and we give him the thanks because God sees us washed clean at his throne because of Jesus his sacrifice for our sins means that we can go to the feet of our Lord and meet him there and we can have a relationship with him and we can have the cleansing of our sins because of Jesus and so we just give him praise and thanks for that amen um what else do I want to do here it, well, there really isn't a lot of things that we need to do here. I mean, we can kind of tie it all together a little bit. I think this is a little bit light. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll come in with a few little crosses here. Why not? Why not? Maybe I'll bring those crosses over here. And maybe I'll just bring them up here too. Just having fun with it, guys. Maybe a few of them over here. I like it. Maybe I come in with my blue little 
paint pen, acrylic paint pen. This is a generic paint pen that I did a review on a while ago. And um, I really like them. They work real nice, especially if I don't want to go grab certain colors of paint, then I just go grab my paint pens. <laughs> I just have a lot of fun with it. And I just kind of add a little bit here and there just to kind of keep things a little bit different and interesting. But I have a lot of fun, as you can see. And really just, you know, thinking about how God just washes away our sins. When we go to him, we ask him for forgiveness of our sins, and he automatically forgives us for them. That doesn't mean we go back and immediately go create the sin again, make the sin again, do the things that we're not supposed to do. We keep working on it. We keep working on it each and every day. So I pray that this encouraged you as we Bible journaled together. And again, if you are looking for these, they are in your Momentum membership, if you are a member. And if you're not, they're in our store. I hope that you enjoyed this and please give this video a thumbs up because it really does help spread the word. And I think more people that learn about Jesus, the better. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.